Right, Bosch 36 volt. <laughs> That's a new one. It's not driving nothing. Motor's running. It's not engaging. That's new. 90% of the time these Bosch 36 volts, the newer type, the plus version, you know. 90% of the time it's the motor. Obviously not this time. Crack us open and see what the crack is. inside these things instead of having a universal motor now I simply have a DC motor this is a four pole Mibuchi DC motor that eventually wears out the brushes wear out on it can't change the brushes you have to change the motor 150 quid a time but obviously that's not what's wrong here something's just not right there that fan's destroyed. That air deflector has burnt up. This motor is only on a shaft with a hex end that locates into the fan. But from day one, these were a bloody problem. To change the motor, you have to pull them out. And they sort of just rust and seize into the shaft. Not budging. I have to go about this back to front. This is not coming out without a fight. And gears damaged for a start. Problem there. Strip the gears. That's yeah, actually not too bad. That's all piece. That entire assembly comes as one piece. Can't buy the gears separate to buy everything. Most other wee bits you can replace. And this here, you can buy all these pieces individually, or you can just buy as one a solid assembly too. So that assembly and that assembly is about 110 euro. So I'll get this up and running again. But I still need to get this off. See where that's been rubbing. It's all melted. Now, that was bad. That was well seized on there. You can see the rust on it. What I'm going to do is beat it off. Hold that in the vise and tap down here. That was very tight. So now the question is did I damage the motor? No, that's okay. Be cloud you seen there was just dust coming out of it. That's okay, we'll go ahead of this. See if we can get these parts. Ready to go, washed out. Open it up anyway, so change that o-ring. New fan assembly, new drive assembly. Change the o-ring. some grease on it. Install that. And 
a bit of grease on there before install your gears. Should be left with something like that. Get your air deflector and push your motor on. These are a tight machine to work on. Everything is tightly packed onto it. Put it together, it should just click together nice and even with no gaps, and so you know the body's correct. That's a squeaky screw. These two half cents should. should just push together quite easily, like that. Just put on your four screws in, hold it all together. Now, put the chain lever on, side of the pin has the narrow side. And up here, there's a narrow notch that locates onto. The pin's nearly pointing, the arrow's nearly pointing down, just off to one side. You'll feel it locate on. Push it down and get it all the way in. Push the red pin on. Push it down. And you twist it around, she locates on. That's it. It should be should be her. Her. That'll keep her running a while longer.